Block one at the Singapore FinTech Week. Wombat Gaming onboarding new users onto EOS. Blanco's private beta is live. Wax NFT survey and upcoming releases and more. Hello EOS Nation. My name is Stefan Bissot and this is episode 82 of the EOS Hot Sauce. As always, our spicy weekly updates are available in every format. Watch on YouTube, listen on SoundCloud or your favorite podcast player or read it at eosnation.io. That's also where you can subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter to get that spicy sauce poured straight into your inbox. Help spread the sauce by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel. Now, let's get to this week's spicy goodness. Block One has just announced their significant presence at the upcoming FinTech Week at the Working Capital in Singapore, which starts on December 7th, 2020. Block One's prominent speaking slots and panels cover important topics that are sure to be interesting to the entire crypto community, and the event will be streamed free for anyone who wants to register and tune in. We'll learn about blockchain and USIO. There's a talk on digital dilemmas, CBDCs, stablecoins, and the future face of money. There's a panel on cloud security paradox, as well as a talk on the business and blockchain, from what to why and how. Earlier in the week, Block One also published a fantastic hashtag built on EOSIO article that featured Spielworks, the team behind Wombat Wallet, and discussed the impact they're having on the EOS network. The article showcases that the Wombat Wallet has been responsible for 35% market share of new EOS accounts in 2020, which was undoubtedly enabled by the effortless onboarding solution present in Wombat and the appealing Wombly crypto reward platform for gamers. By allowing users to initially create a Wamplay account with a simple email address, users can start earning rewards for gaming and only need to create their Wombat blockchain account once they want to cash out those rewards. This simple yet very powerful onboarding process has resulted in over 50% of new Wamplay accounts being converted to Wombat wallet accounts, allowing users who have never even heard of crypto to suddenly become EOS token holders. It's often been repeated that gaming on EOS could be the catalyst for mainstream adoption, and in this regard, Wombat is leading the way and showing the world how it can be done. Speaking of gaming, the Blanco's private beta has finally arrived. This AAA title gives us a glimpse into what the future of blockchain gaming may hold. And it's looking great so far. The game is fun, the graphics are beautiful, and the NFT integration brings a lot of potential. We're already enjoying collecting different Blancos, leveling them up with different skills, and decking them out with fun accessories. If you run across a Blancos named EOS, that's us, so be sure to say hi. We won't go into too much detail here, but those who want to learn more about the game and the reception it's receiving, we recommend checking out these reviews, videos, and live stream commentaries. Some of them are done by HODL EOS, you'll have some key points from the uh, November 6th Ask Me Anything, and some Blanco's beta tips, as well as some interviews uh, with John Linden, the CEO of Mythical Games. Make sure to find all these links on our blog at eosnation.io. WAX NFT Community Survey and Upcoming Releases Last month, we circulated a survey to better understand the WAX NFT community, and today we're happy to share the results with you. We've highlighted some of the more interesting findings in a graphic shared on our blog, and we're also sharing a PDF file that includes all of the results for those who are interested in more details. Here are some of the most interesting results of the survey. Number one, the vast majority of responders plan to maintain or increase the amount of time and money they spend on NFTs. Number two, there is strong demand, 55%, for fair distributions where all packs have equal chances at low mints. Number three, only 50% of respondents collected NFTs primarily as investments or trades. Others collected them for their visual appeal, to complete sects, and to show support for brands or creators, or even to play NFT-based games. Gaming NFTs are the preferred types of NFTs to collect by 49% of respondents. Overall, these trends paint a very bullish picture for WAX NFTs, and we're excited to be part of the space. The trend towards gaming NFTs is undeniable, and we expect to see a lot of amazing innovation in that space in the coming weeks, months, and years. For those of you who can't wait any longer, the Dark Country Alpha is now available for download, bringing us the first, but definitely not the last, NFT-based card collectible strategy game on WAX. December 2020 should also see the much-anticipated launch of the first COGS games, which will accompany their Series 2 release. Now, having exciting NFT releases is what this space is all about, but it's important not to forget that key infrastructure pieces are also currently being built out. The Token Head app 
has quickly become the community favorite app for viewing and showcasing your more precious and valuable NFTs, both on your phone and on social media. Their latest update brings solid improvements, including showing mint numbers and mint totals, sorting by mint numbers, the ability to pull to refresh all the things in the app, showing asset names on gallery screens, and some other small improvements and bug fixes. Overall, the Wax NFT space is growing very rapidly and it can be hard to keep up with all the projects. Make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter or YouTube channel to stay informed on exactly what's going on right now and the trends that are likely coming in the future. Moving right along, it's time for the Race for Rares. If you're joining us for the YouTube premiere of this episode, type Spicy Rare in the live chat right now for a chance to win one of five Spicy Rare NFTs. And you can also guess the length of this episode to win an NFT pack. You've got two minutes starting now. And if you'd like a chance to win this week's Golden Chili, leave a relevant comment on this video about one of today's spicy topics. Congratulations to the Yup team for imp implementing the first of its kind EOS to ETH bridge for their dual chain liquidity mining mechanisms using the tools provided by Liquid Apps. The process is pretty user friendly, as you can see in a short demonstration video shared on Twitter. Through the bridge, the Yup protocol can utilize the best of both protocols, the efficient performance and scalability of EOS and the liquidity of Ethereum. Yup allows users content creation across social media platforms and earn Yup tokens for their work, which the team has labeled influence mining. In a great interview for the hashtag built on DAP series, the Yup team shared further details and interesting insights. Quote, we've known that social media platforms were too powerful long before the COVID related disinformation and censorship. This time around, though, feels like an inflection point for trust in our government, our media and our platforms. What we'll do about it will define the 20s. We think Yup will play a critical role in accurately measuring the madness online, helping users identify truth through their own eyes and tastes. By clearing away the noise and empowering users with the tools to properly value things, we can ultimately find political common ground. It's great to see that Liquid Apps software is not just used to bridge the gaps between blockchain protocols, but can also help to overcome the divide that flawed social media models have brought to our societies. A future of internet connected blockchain seems to be the next logical step for the blockchain industry to mature, and we're happy to see many teams in the EOSIO community working on this. Look up the great summary by Cool Wave Capital for more information on this topic. The Liquid Apps team has been a major driver for this development by introducing their latest product, the Edge DSP. They aim to make bridging blockchains easier than ever. In the announcement article, we learned that any two chains can be candidates for an Edge DSP connection, either for a long-term bridge or a one-time transaction. Furthermore, the software is so lightweight that it can be run in a browser tab. We're excited to see Edge DSP in action and the Liquid Apps team explore further use cases for their cutting edge technology. The voice team has shared some interesting results of the ongoing experimentation around content moderation on the platform in a recent post. It's up to voice users to report content that they believe is not welcome. Report content is then reviewed by the voice's internal trust and safety team and put up for a poll for the majority of voice users to decide. The parameters of this process are still being fine-tuned, but we're confident that Voice's self-governing approach will provide the platform even more of a competitive edge compared to centralized social media. The next month will get interesting for Voice as the product steadily matures and we can expect intensified promotional activity. Erika Velasquez Alperm, VP of Marketing at Voice, shared a little preview of the upcoming Social With a Soul campaign and called for the community to help ignite the movement. We're on board. Let's make social human. Introducing Arya, our newest EOS Nation intern. Arya first came to Chengdu in 2017 and studied computer science at Sichuan University. She's currently studying with a full scholarship at the University of Science and Technology of China for further education in computer science, which focuses on blockchain and data analysis. She believes the blockchain industry is promising and is honored to join EOS Nation as an intern to promote EOS Nation development through writing, translation, and organizing events. She's also in charge of EOS Nation's B News and Jinsei accounts. And finally, the 2020 EOSIO Swish Workshop number five is almost here. Entitled EOSIO, the birth of multi-chain harmonics universes, the fifth workshop of the year will be broadcast on YouTube on December 9th at 1530 UTC. 
lasting approximately two hours and hosted by Patrick Schmidt, CEO slash CTO of Nova Crypto and the EOS Nation Ambassador, this workshop will cover some timely EOS topics and feature four guest interviews. Topics such as the BSN, the new resource model, CPU allocation, e-commerce integration, IPFS, the web, and others will be covered, while the four guest interviews are with Yves Larose, CEO of EOS Nation, Martin Brewer, Regional Director of EOS Nation and co-founder of Dot Gems, Sebastian Vanderland, CEO of WordProof, and Mblue Crypto, CEO of Uplift Nation. And that's all for this week's episode of the EOS Hot Sauce. We've got more spicy goodness for you every week, so subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned for the next one. And if you can't wait till next week, find our previous episodes at eosnation.io or on our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm your host, Stéphane Bisson, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, let's keep it spicy.